Um, okay, another point that I got from your book is that, um, please correct me if it's wrong, performance management focuses on the performance in the current role and succession planning focuses on preparing people to take on future roles. And uh, I see this as a chance in, in large companies that offer a variety of possible positions for their good people. But uh, what about small companies that rely on their good people even more but can't offer that much perspectives? I'm wondering what, what they should do. Yeah, and that's a good point, Jennifer. And you know what? The reality is um, the larger your organization, the easier succession planning is going to be from the perspective of you will have more opportunities for people. That's a, that's a fact. That's a, that's, uh, that's a given. But small organizations, really, what we're trying to do, regardless of whether you have a different position for somebody or not, which what we're really trying to do is to, is to increase people's capacity. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I think what a lot of organizations, they get, um, they get caught up in this idea that, oh, gee, if, um, you know, if we don't have enough positions, really, we can't do effective development, we can't do effective uh, succession planning, because there's nowhere for these people to go. Mm -hmm. And so what I encourage my clients to do is to think, especially smaller organizations, um, I encourage them to think about leadership development in terms of kind of mini promotions. Mm -hmm. so what are some, what are, we don't actually have to give somebody a new role, but what are some things that are perhaps on the CEO's plate or senior executive's plate um, that they don't need to do that, that we could actually put onto somebody else's plate uh, lower down the hierarchy. Mm -hmm. And so I would, my, my uh, recommendation to smaller organizations is to think about development in terms of giving people many promotions. Maybe that comes with a new title, but most of the time, probably not. Um, but it's really about building people's capacity. Uh, and, I, and I would keep that the, the focus as opposed to uh, thinking about what positions we can give people. Another thing actually um, on that is, is I think one of the biggest problems with, uh, with succession planning and leadership development is that people think um, that the only way I can grow my career is vertically. Right. Mm. If I'm not progressing vertically, I'm not growing. Mm. But in fact, when I speak to uh, organizations with world class leadership and career development programs, they consistently tell me that the most valuable employees to them are the ones with the most breadth of experience. Mm -hmm. Those people who have who have uh, grown and developed laterally. Mm -hmm. Those are the people that organizations can sort of uh, when different opportunities come up, they can take these people and they can sort of plug and play depending on the circumstances. Mm -hmm. So that's another thing that I would really encourage organizations to do is to get out of the mindset of, um, oh gee, the only way I can grow, grow my career is vertically and say, no, look, most of your development is probably going to be laterally. Think mm -hmm. laterally, think about broadening your skill set. So is it to build up generalists instead of specialists? Yeah, and I and I think that uh, the answer is is yes. Um, the typically the the higher you go in an organ in an organization, the more of a generalist you become. And especially this is especially true for founders who um, you know they they uh, started doing everything on their own, and they uh, and a lot of times the people in top spots uh, in organizations um, they they earn those positions simply because they are a generalist and they kind of. They kind of have a good, uh, they can wrap their head around all parts of the business, right? And the problem is, is a lot of organizations are organized such that we peg people into little specialist positions. Mm -hmm. And these people are never going to qualify themselves to take those top positions um, because they don't gain enough breadth of experience so that they can wrap their head around the entire organization, around the, the entire business.